Well, good morning. Back on the Firebird today, a number of uh, spring projects that needed to be done around the old homestead here. So back on this, I'm going to spend one more day on body fit up. Just uh, I want to put the bumper back on and make sure the adjustments I made to the brackets are appropriate. I had to get it out and up just a little bit more. Um, you know, this, the aftermarket frame, uh, front clip, obviously, you know, that's a, that's a uh, definite possibility. So I'm going to spend one more day on fit up just to make sure everything is aligned where I want it and as good as I can get it before I start the, uh, the body work phase. Um, yep, I'm kind of milking it. Uh, <laughs> you know, I kind of figured the more time I spend here, the less body work I'm going to be into. So then less body work is better for me. So um, going to work the bumper back in. I'm going to put a couple more bolts back in the valance just to hold that in, get it straight. So when I start blocking on it, it will uh, start block sanding it. Everything will be held in line. I've got to, uh, got a little bit of a, the door kind of curls in a little bit right here. I'm going to try to work this back out a bit. Um, I don't know if I, when I welded up the brace behind here, it kind of it sucked it in a little bit, but it, it's not as good as I had it before. So um, I'm close, but I'm not quite there. So I want to just work this seam a little bit more and um, the front valance and the bumper are what I'm going to try to concentrate on today. And then probably end up starting to do, I'll take all that back off, take the bumper back off obviously, and start, uh, start block sanding. So, so the, the method I use, you know, I'm not a great body man. I, I never have been, never liked it. But, you know, I've got a good starting point here. So should be okay but the, my method right now is i am going to take and, and the reason i've been kind of holding off starting this is uh, eventually i got to take it all down to bare metal and i want to be ready to roll it right in the other room and hit it with epoxy after i do that as close as immediately as possible so my first step is to block sand this uh this edp primer and just look and see if there's any more metal work that can be done to make it as straight as possible. Are there any small dings or things like that? And block sanding this EDP will tell me that. Uh, then once the, I've block sanded all the panels, worked out all I can from a metal standpoint, then I'm going to take and strip it to bare metal and immediately epoxy it. Uh, I'm gonna epoxy it back in black again and once it's epoxied, I'll put on my first coat of primer. But I'll take you through that process then. But I definitely like to work in layers. So I'll do a, a, black, a, a black epoxy base. Then I'll do in a gray primer so that I know if I ever, when I start to block sand out the high build primer, I start to see any black, I stop. And, you know, repair, do whatever, but don't go through that black epoxy. Um, so you can see the black very nice through the gray primer. So that will that will help me um, Like I said, I'm not I'm not good enough at this to to, to do it any other way. So um, That's my plan it, it, You know, there's gonna be layers on this thing that it's gonna take You know, you're gonna have a, a layer of epoxy then a layer of high build primer and then probably another layer of primer and then a white epoxy to seal coat it um, then the body should be sound, but you know, it, like I said, there's not any big problems on this body. I don't expect it to be that bad. I'm probably making more out of it than I want, but it's the type of thing that when I get going on it, I want to be able to spend like a solid week on it if I can. So, you know, or a week or two or whatever, however long it takes, but I don't want to get to a situation where I have anything sitting in bare metal that needs to be stripped down for any length of time so that, you know, I don't want any flash rust to develop. So that's kind of my, uh, my plan and my mission for today is just one more attempt at fitting everything else up, get it all back to where I'm pretty happy. I'm not gonna put the rear bumper back on. I was very happy with how that went. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do to the body to improve that. 
Uh, just this front seam in the door. Um, my gap gets a little wide right here, but it's not a quarter inch, but it's a little over 3 16 so I'm probably not going to worry too much about that. Um, just going to, you know, readjust some things and get it so I'm pretty, pretty happy where everything sits. But it's, it's, it's good. It's just, you know, hey, if I can waste a little more time doing this, it's less uh, later I can start the body work. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rework the bumper, uh, refit the bumper one more time just to make sure I'm, I didn't mess this up and we will go from there i'll bring you back when i have something to show you all right i've been messing with this for a while now i've got my left and right pretty good i got it back to pretty close to where i had it before my arrows are lined up my front nose pretty close um so the way this bracket works is this big bracket and it runs down to the frame and there's two slotted holes that run off at angles Okay, the front one goes up into the rear, and the back one, let me see if I can get, get you to deal with that, goes, I think that one goes down towards the rear, if I remember right. But anyway, I couldn't quite get the bumper out far enough, so you know this is a a line that i get in there. hang on let me get you in there. okay so i scribed this line where i had it before and it ended up i slotted the bracket a little more just to get the bumper to be able to come forward and tilt up a bit so i was trying to work it back this way and I got it pretty good on this side. I've got about a quarter inch in here where the bumper comes down. Now there's a rubber gasket that goes in here and all of that. Um, so this side's looking okay. It, it's kind of weird. Um, it might be just a skosh high, maybe maybe an eighth high. It doesn't actually follow this body line. It kind of comes down and then bumps out. Um, so I'm not, I don't know, because if you go any lower, then this point here starts to stick out more. So that's an interesting part. This lower part of the bracket that bump holds supports the lower part, this has a little bit of adjustment in and out to help roll the bumper up. And I did that. Um, that bought me a little bit. So again, I'm, I'm okay with this side. The gap's still a little large up here, but this side is way lower than it should be. And it's, it's not, um, I'm, I'm having trouble getting it to go where I want it to go. So I'm going to mess with this side a little bit more, try to get that rolled up and then see what I can do about bringing this in. Um, you know, it's possible I have to kick both sides of the bottom out, but if I can get at least equal height on both sides right now, I'd be pretty happy with that. Um, and then I can work and see if I can't close this up a little bit by tilting it back. Now, you know, this is an aftermarket bumper. This edge is, you know, a little suspect in my mind. It's an aftermarket hood too, so who knows? Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna just keep working this a little bit more. I like the fact that I, I did the same thing over here to get that adjustment. Um, and you can, you can see in there, the scribed line on the bracket. I am forward a little bit more than I was before, but not a whole lot. It's weird, like you see the, the, the bolt on the frame goes up into the rear. The, bolt on the bracket goes down and towards the rear. So theoretically, you should be able to move that around quite a bit and up and down, in and out, and get those bolts to line up, you know, fairly well. Uh, but it just takes a little fussing around with it. Once I get it right, I'll probably put some, uh, put some marks on there somehow so I can get it, get it right again the next time I put it on. Um, but it's, uh, like I said, it's a little low over here. You know, like this is what it looks like if the, the planes are almost in line, but then this sticks way out and it looks kind of weird. 
So I've got to come up, I think, over here at least an eighth. Uh, not sure where I'm going to get that from yet, but I'm going to try. There's, there's options here. Um, there are slots in this bracket to move this bracket up or down, which I think could help me. But then again, the top is not slotted for up or down travel. It's left or right travel, and that's it. So I guess another option I could do, I don't know. I gotta, I, I'll, I'm going to try a couple more little stunts here and see what I can do to get this squared away. All right, I think I figured it out. These bolts up here, where the bumper connects to the upper bumper support, there's some adjustment in those too. So once I was able to break those loose and realized I had a little bit of in and out and I got my height better, um, it looks good. I think this is you know, as good as those are supposed to look. Um, the, uh, yeah, it seems to be pretty equal on both sides, about a quarter inch right here at the tip. Gets a little wider over here on the edge, but the, uh, like I said, there's a rubber gasket in there for a reason. I got plenty of room down below here where the bumper gets close to the paint. Um, I'm actually very happy with where it's at right now. So that is a wonderful start. So um, yeah, I'm pretty good with that. Let's see what it looks like here with this closed. Yeah, see, it's still a bit of a gap here, but I'm not sure what you can do about that. Uh, there's really not a lot of ways to close that up. I do have an original OEM hood. I might just take a few minutes and swap, I'm not hood, um, bumper, and swap that out and see how it looks, but the uh i'm pretty close right now i'm not terribly off uh, you know it just this the cut here on the bumper doesn't quite look as sharp as it could be and of course you can't grind and fit that or weld it because then you'd have to send it out to get re-chromed which kind of defeats the whole damn purpose of buying an, a, a uh, reproduction bumper but that's pretty good. I'm, I'm okay with that right now. Um, like I said, the gap here is bigger than here. But, you know, I could, could maybe tweak it over a little bit more. I did seem to slide a little bit to the right in that process. So maybe that's what I need to do. Slide it back to the left. Even this out. And I think that would be good. Because if I'm honest here... My lines aren't quite right anymore. They're maybe a little less than an eighth off, which would probably make this pretty good. All right, I'm going to adjust on that. Okay, yeah, I tweaked the bumper a little bit more to the left. It did even this up a bit more. Still quite a gap there, but I'm not really sure if there's anything I'm going to do about that. But... Um, would put a rubber gasket in there anyway but let's see what we get uh, so I'm pretty happy with how the bumper is lined up right now hopefully that jack is not up nope okay it's down uh, so yeah that's not too bad I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with that fitment right now so that is at least good enough to move on to the next stage I'll uh, blast that back off there in a bit but right now just gonna you know have a sandwich and stare at it for a minute take a little lunch break um, now I'm gonna move on to this this door uh, see if I can't adjust the profile to the of the door to the fender a little bit Sara uh, very simple and interesting technique on vinyl village garage that looked uh, probably do exactly what I need to do here. So I'll bring you back, show you what I'm into. Okay, so before I get into the issue I have down on the quarter panel, I wanna show you something. I've been looking at this hood line here and it looks wide, but it's not. The gap is really good, but what there is, is this, this edge is super lazy. There is 
three sixteenths of a radius from the top of the face down to the to the side and that's pretty bad <laughs> the other side is much sharper it's it's bent pretty crisp this is what you would expect I mean you know from the edge you have well less than an eighth you know obviously there is some radius is always going to be but this radius is excessive and in looking at this you know pretty much from somewhere in here it's pretty good but you can see it starts to bulge out here if you look at it let me see if I can get the angle on the light just right it looks pretty sharp here and then all of a sudden it goes really dull and uh, I'm gonna have to correct that somehow I don't I don't really like the idea you don't want to do filler on the edge of a panel um, whenever possible if you can avoid that and do it in metal you're better off but at the same time I would literally have to build this corner up all the way down through here and you know you risk warping the hood you, you know, all kinds of neat stuff um, but you know it's doable uh, I'm, it's funny, I'm not really fighting a gap issue. The gap is 3 16 it's spot on. It's just the radius here is horrible. So I might actually first try to tap it out with a, with a hammer, just slowly work it back, see if I can't um, pull some of that back into a decent form um, without blowing up my gap. Might try that first, either with a hammer or a slapping spoon try to work it out um, just to sharpen that up a little bit because you know in in the black it's it's a little hard to see but I got a feeling once you put color on this that seam is gonna jump out like crazy the fact that there's a a nice sharp crisp edge on this side and <laughs> 3 16 radius on this side um, here it's less than a 16th radius here it's three times that maybe four so I'm gonna play with that a little bit later, um, but first I want to show you what I'm into down here. So I took a sanding block and I just started, you know, blocking out the panel. And this is exactly what I expected to see. I have a high spot right here, and it it, it feathers out okay down here, but it gets pretty high here. And when you uh, when you put the stick on it, you can see it. It's pretty much there, but you know, putting a sanding block on makes it that much easier but I have quite a crown right here so first thing I'm gonna try to do is shrink that um, I'm gonna try it with a shrinking disc I haven't used this yet a little shrinking disc on my grinder um, never done this before but basically you just run the grinder down through here with the shrinking disc get it good and warm and then hit it real quick with a with a cold chop towel with some water and just it shocks it pulls it back in um, so you heat it then cool it really quick and that obviously shrinks the metal so I'm gonna try that first and see if I can get it any better but this is technically what I need to do on every panel now but I, I knew I had an issue here and it was pretty severe but I got to go through and block this entire car looking for highs and lows that need to either be pushed in or pulled out and that'll just save a lot of body work because to fill, you know, I'd have to fill from here to here and feather it back out like this. And it, it, that's a lot of material to be putting on a brand new body. So just a little bit of metal work up front will save you a lot of time and body work. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuss around with this for a little bit. Again, I got a shrinking disc on my hand grinder, just a little four and a half inch disc. Um, interestingly enough, my grinder has this nut on the face of it. So to get that thing flush, I had to put a regular disc behind it. Not sure if that's normal or what that's all about, but um, you know, that's that's what I have to work with. So I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to try this, get it on there. I got to get some water in a bucket, in a in a rag, and try to work that bulge back in. And we'll see how it goes. I've never done this. It might be an epic fail. I may have to heat it with a torch and try to do the same thing. Um, which not good because that'll cause a lot more waves and it's a lot less concentrated on right where your issue is So I'm gonna give it a shot. See what I get Okay, so I was able to take the uh, the slapping spoon and the hammer and work this 
kind of slowly tapping out like this way and I think I got that pretty good now I'd sharpened that edge up quite a bit I do have a few minor low spots in here now that I'm gonna have to fill but I got the edge sharpened right up so that was pretty good uh, down here tried the shrinking disc ended up getting having to use a torch to you know shrink the high spots I got a couple of low spots now but I'm kind of at a point where and hit it with blue dicum so I could sand it again uh, kind of at a point here where I think the rest can wait until I'm doing um, the uh, final metal adjustment I got the gaps all good my seams look good my profiles look good my body lines look good I think I'm in pretty good shape here um, bumpers good and aligned I like it I'm pretty happy with where that is now so yeah I guess I've put it off long enough I need to start working my way through the rest of the the body uh, I have spent some time getting the hood to line up a little better profile wise it was still a little high here so I did manage to get that to sit down flatter uh, it does look like my upper cowl grill is a little high in the driver's side middle so I may have to pull a shim out of that to get that down but other than that I feel like I've gotten this uh, body as good as I'm gonna get it before the final metal work phase so that's what I'm gonna do next I'll probably start that some point this week get up here start blocking out every panel looking for high spots low spots that can be corrected or anything serious and then you know work those slowly and you know just reduce the amount of overall body work that's gonna have to be done so other than that pretty happy with it like I said I got a few waves in that fender right there but I, I kind of had to shrink quite a bit of material to get that hump out of it the other alternative is I probably could have slid it and re-welded it but probably would have had more of a mess to clean up if I had done that so I feel like shrinking it was the right answer given the the location and the accessibility of the backside so um, yeah I guess that's what I'll do next is I'll start that process uh, it's really nothing else that I need to address body fitment or alignment wise so now it's time to start the first phase of body work which is again blocking out all this EDP getting it to a point where I can see any high spots or low spots on the on the body and if I have an opportunity to work them out metal work wise I will otherwise you know just get it down and then strip everything to metal and shoot it with epoxy so going to be a long process I get it uh, but fun parts over so it's time to get down to it uh, so that's where I'm going to head next and I will uh, bring you along <laughs>